Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Rays of Hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me over to Genesis, the book of Genesis, chapter 49. Today I want us to look at verse number 10 as our text verse of Scripture. Notice what the Bible says here. The Bible says, The scepter, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and to him shall the gathering of the people be. And friend, I pray that God would add his blessings to the reading of that wonderful word. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, goodness, what better way to start a brand new day, fresh coffee, and a fresh word from God. Well, friend, today I want to bring to you the devotion titled, The Promise of Christmas. The Promise of Christmas. An old man lies on his deathbed, and he calls his sons together one final time. Jacob, the father of a new nation, Israel, blesses each one of his children. It is here in Jacob's words to Judah that Christmas shows up. He tells his son that one of his descendants, or one of their descendants, will be a king. But this will be no ordinary king. He won't just rule a country or a region. All people will bow the knee to this king. All nations will obey this king. This king will be none other than King Jesus himself. Israel thinks that Jesus is coming to establish and restore a political nation. But Jesus comes with all authority to bring salvation to all people. Christmas doesn't come for one nationality, one culture, or one language. The good news of Christmas is that it is a righteous king who is going to come into the world to set up a kingdom that is not of this world and is for all nations, all cultures, and all languages. Don't be fooled, my friend. Jesus will never come as an insignificant baby in a tiny town in a small country, but he will reign as King of kings and Lord of lords, and his salvation will be for the ends of the earth. This is the promise of Christmas coming from the Old Testament, and it will be fulfilled soon. I look to the east every morning, saying to myself, this could be the day, this could be the day that Jesus comes again. God bless you. Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Pray with me. Father, we thank you that we could see Christmas long before it ever came. You showed it to us through the prophecies of those of old. And then you fulfilled that promise by sending tiny Jesus that grew into a boy, then a man died on a cross, resurrected from a dead uh, tomb that he was buried in and now sits at the right hand of God making intercession for us and is the soon coming King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Help us see this and help us look for your coming each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you, my friend, and do make a difference in your world today. 
Your life could be the only Bible that some will ever see or hear from. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Have a great day.